Hey guys, so today we're going to be painting the rest of the fence. Uh, we've done most of it. We've got this side to do. I've got to clear all of that. I've got, I've got to get the rest of the ivy off that panel. Uh, the back's painted. And paint that. There's Scylla. Say hi Scylla. And then we've got Sansa, her sister, right here. Sansa. Oh, she's not interested. So yeah, we're just, um, I'm gonna clear the back of the garden. I'm gonna paint, I need to paint that somehow, get in there. And yeah, see how it goes from there. There's just sunbathing now. We're just trying to clear clear the garden to make it nicer, so that's just the way it is. I just picked up all the dog poo. They've got a nice bit of grass there. We've got the log cabin in the garden there. I need to give that a second coat as well. I think the top the top has had a second coat, but you can see the difference in colour between that and that. It's a lot lighter. But yeah, the girls love sunbathing. Love it. There they are. <clears throat> Just trying to clear up the garden whilst the weather's nice because I think I don't think we're gonna have much sunlight for now. Hey Sansa. She had an operation recently on her head. Uh, in the middle of her eyes, you can kind of see it there. There they are, the good, the two sisters. Hey Sarah. Hey girl. There they are, and they love each other. Same litter, Rottweiler Cross, Presser Canario. Beautiful dogs. Everyone always said that they would be vicious and aggressive, but um, they are not. Uh, let me tell you, she, this one here is the soppiest girl in the world, aren't you, Sansa? The soppiest girl. She, um, Sansa here, she's. She's pretty good with other dogs. She's more relaxed. Scylla is... Um, she can be dog aggressive, but... She used to live at my mum's house. Now she lives here with me. I'm kind of teaching her not to be so aggressive. And she's actually relaxed and calmed down a lot. So as you can see, she's just they're just so relaxed like all the time. When they bark, I just kind of tell them off. You know, if they're barking for no reason, I'll just tell them to stop and they'll stop. There's the thumbnail picture. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, she had a lump. Um, she had a lump on her, on her, in between her head, here. And I got that removed. And there was a lump on her back as well. And I thought it might be cancerous, but it, it wasn't. So, but at least I got it removed because it was bothering her. And here's Scylla. True fact about Scylla: when she was um, about two years old. I took her to a dog show in my area and she won prettiest dog. Um, she, she, she comes second place for prettiest bitch. Sorry if it's windy, it's pretty, pretty windy out here today, but yeah, this is the garden. I'll take you around the front as well. We're just trying to tidy up and make it a bit nicer. Uh, the shed full of crap there. Walk you around the front. This is the cabin, here comes Sansa. Hey Sansa. I built this myself guys, believe it or not. And um, we've got a hot tub in the corner, some flowers, which never get watered. But I fixed this recently, I had an issue. It kept, I kept getting an Aero O2, and it was basically the, the um, pump, the impeller in the pump, in the water pump. So I'll fix that. Uh, I'll put an outdoor socket here. This needs a bit of a clean, but yeah, that's the side. I painted um, a second coat on that. At the top, you can see the difference in color again. But look at these spider whips. 
pretty crazy. Hey Seals. <laughs> He's just following me everywhere. Hello. And yeah, this is the this is the garden. When we when we first um came here guys, this was all this was all uh, grass. It, the whole garden was grass. And I remember even like down here, all of this side, I did all of this myself. Uh, but painting it was um sorry, not painting it. Uh, cutting the grass was a nightmare. It was an absolute nightmare. But I built this trough as well. Uh, the bikes were in the way because I was cutting the grass. But look, we've got some fresh, fresh strawberries here. Honestly, guys, they are delicious. We've got some, this um, tomato plant's dying because it's not been looked after. It's not been watered. But we've got some tomatoes on there. And I can smell them from here. It smells delicious. But yeah, we did have, um, we had some spring onions in there. We had some... I don't think we grew cucumbers. Uh, there was some garlic in there, I think. But yeah, today we're just going to be painting this over here. So that panel, that panel next to it, and in the back. But let me see if I can come around here and show you the back. Look, look at this. We've got a friend. There's our friend. So I'm not going to break his web because that's how he catches his food. But look at this. So I've got to cut this up and throw it in the bin. Um, I've, got some, I've got a tyre here. That was, that was for some training. But hopefully I can stand on this and not fall over. That's what I need to get behind and clear so that we can paint that. That panel there. Then the next one there. That one and that one. That's what we've got to do today, and also I've got to get rid of all of this ivy. Um, this stuff is vicious; it, it, it grows on everything, and you can see it has these like has these um, feet that just grab a hold of everything. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to we're going to paint this as well. I'll take as much as I can off. I did I, the, oh, that whole panel was covered. You can see. Right, it's all marked, but I'm just going to scrape as much as I can off and just paint it. That one's been painted. And then um, just get rid of all of that. And that is my job for today, guys. So this is another shed that we uh, poorly did. And the roof actually, let me step over this without killing myself. The roof leaks, and I'll show you where it leaks. It leaks right, right here somewhere. So I need to take this felt off. I'm not sure if the wood underneath it is damaged, but um, this was just like a little chill out room, to be honest. But it leaked. It was like right here somewhere. It was leaking, the dogs are barking. Who is it, Zilla? That is what they're like every day. Just, they're so protective of the house. But yeah, that's where it used to, that's where water used to come from through here. So I think I can just take these these panels off. There's just like four of them, I think. Yeah, four of them. Take them off and um, just put new ones and put new felt. Uh, we've painted the outside and it should be should be good. I'm not going to show you inside because it's a little it's a little bit messy. I mean, sometimes we'll go in here and like smoke and stuff, but yeah, it's just a little chill out room, two and a half meters by three meters. and yeah that is today guys that is what we've got to do so we've got just got to paint i'm supposed to be streaming on twitch today but i don't know if i'm gonna have the time after all of this painting and sorting this corner out um i'll see if i can get a video after if we can finish it um if not that's fine i need to throw all of this shit away somewhere uh, we've got a nice bow in the wood there we actually did put some insulation uh, we put some insulation inside because in the winter it was getting cold and we used to come out here because we didn't have the log cabin before we used to come out here and just uh, chill in the shed in the shed but now we've got that I won't go in, I won't go in there because the baby's in there he's sleeping and stuff but in one of the next videos I'll show you guys what it's like inside and it is it's amazing it's really really nice but yeah this is um this is where we live, this is what we do. 
every weekend I'm busy doing some kind of DIY or something that the wife keeps me busy. And yeah, this is this is it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did like it, then please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below on your thoughts. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.